So let's look at the elements that make up a basic electrical circuit, something that we need for the electrical science and principles that we cover, as well as the practical within the electrical workshop. So we have here the source of EMF, electromotive force, and we've got the picture of a sine wave. So we have an AC supply in this circuit. Our circuit needs overcurrent protection. We have the symbol here for a circuit breaker. We also need control. Control here offered by a one-way switch. So when we close the switch and complete the circuit, the lamp will illuminate. When we operate the switch or open the circuit, the lamp will go off. The circuit is connected together using conductors. And we also need a load. And in this case, we've got a lamp. So we have a load, means of control, we have overcurrent protection, and a source of EMF in our circuit. All elements required for our basic electrical science and principles, as well as wiring circuits within the electrical workshop. The top circuit diagram is offering exactly the same information as the electronics board below. We can see we have a supply or source of EMF. We have overcurrent protection in the form of a fuse. We have control in the form of a one-way switch. We have conductors linking together all elements of the circuit, as well as a load. In this case, the picture of a lamp. Therefore, in the current situation in the top drawing, with the switch being closed, the lamp would be illuminated and would be turned off by simply operating the switch. The above circuit diagram will be used in the workshop to aid with wiring circuits in conduit. It's important in the early stages of learning that we understand the basic principles of electrical circuits as well as identifying the symbols used both in the top and bottom elements of this video. I hope this video, however simple, has been some help.